on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I wanted to address a concern that I had and an issue that I had upgrading my PS4 hard drive. Now, whether you're reinstalling system software, initializing the PS4, or even upgrading to a bigger hard drive, you may experience this issue. I'm going to be going through this tutorial in its entirety to make sure that you guys don't experience the same thing as me. So, if you guys go in, try to do it and you get this error code CE-30774-1 or any other error code at that matter. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your USB hard drive that you're using to uh, use the system uh, software update is formatted to file system EFAT. That's very important. So make sure it's formatted. Next, we're on the PlayStation website. I will link you to this in the video description. The first link that you see, you don't want to download it. Um, instead, you're going to want to make sure that you download the link that is under perform a new installation of system software, which you guys are seeing right here. Make sure you guys do that because that's very important. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file. So the one I told you not to download is under 300 megabytes. The one I'm pointing at right now. Do not download that one. <laughs> this is the one you want to download. I downloaded it twice um, by accident, but I wanted to show you guys for video purposes. Um, it actually renamed the, the file to one. Uh, so that's a mistake right there. But also I've noticed when you save this onto your PS4, there might be a space in between update and the dot. Uh, you're gonna wanna fix that. So uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new folder. Rename the new folder to PS4. Once you create that new folder, click on it, go into it, and then you're gonna wanna create a subfolder and uh, just go to new, create a new subfolder, and then this time you're gonna name it update. Now, all caps is preferable. It's gonna make it uh, recognize it even faster. Now, you're gonna wanna drag the updated file into the update folder. And I uh, wanted to show you guys this as well because when I went to check, as you guys can see, there's a space in between update and dot. So I'm gonna fix that, correct that, and we'll be good to go. There's nothing else that you guys need to do. If you guys are experiencing issues, it's probably because the file is not named correctly. Now, all you're gonna wanna do is once you've put that on your USB drive, pop it into your PS4, Go back into safe mode. If you guys don't know how to go into safe mode, you hold down the power button um, until it turns on. And then once it turns on, continue holding it for another seven seconds. You'll hear another beep. Once you do that, you'll be in safe mode. Once you're in safe mode on your PS4, then you're gonna wanna wait for it to come up just like it is right here. And then you're gonna wanna select yes that you selected yes on that on the safe mode then your initializing will begin now this process doesn't take too long um, it actually goes pretty quickly you'll be done with this process in about five to ten minutes just depending um, and that's it the main issues are of course number one if your USB drive is not being recognized you want to make sure you format it to EFAT or FAT um, for the file system second thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right file downloaded from the PlayStation uh, website uh, which is over 800 megabytes um, and is close to 900 megabytes um, once you download that file you're gonna want to make sure I, I just want to clarify everything you're gonna want to make sure that there's no spaces in between there's no added numbers or anything else um, it's going to read straight through just like you saw it on the screen. You're going to want to create a new folder with PS4. You're going to want to create a subfolder with update. And then you're going to want to put that update file in the update folder and then drag the PS4 folder over into your already formatted USB. Once you have that USB, then you're going to want to pop that baby right into your PS4, go into safe mode and it will work um, if you guys have any problems or have run into any issues definitely hit me up in the comment section below you guys can also reach me on facebook and twitter i'm a little bit more accessible on twitter because i pretty much live on twitter 
all day long so if you guys have a question or anything dm me if you guys don't have twitter that's okay hit me up on facebook uh through messenger or you guys can even hit me up in the comment section below uh, i'll be reading through the comments and i'll be addressing uh, your guys's concerns as needed now you will need to download the system software if you're upgrading your playstation 4 um, that's just mandatory okay so even though you back up your ps4 and all that's good you're still gonna need to download this file to proceed um, so I just wanted to make that perfectly clear as well if you would take two seconds out of your day hit a like that really helps me out if you guys haven't already subscribed I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4 PlayStation Plus news updates all the good stuff so you don't have to if you haven't seen my previous videos I've actually covered how to back up your PlayStation 4 how to restore your PlayStation 4 and how to upgrade your PlayStation 4 hard drive this is a final video in this series so I will link the other videos in the video description as well if you guys want to know where I got my hard drive that will also be in the video description as well I've actually now partnered with Amazon and eBay um, so I will have links to that in the the video description as well as always you guys are freaking awesome